Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome. Yes, I disappeared. Not long after I made my video, I came down with a really bad sinus infection, which apparently I picked up on the flight home. It hasn't quite gone, so I'm sorry if I'm a bit nasally, but I needed to do a video and get some things out there. So it's blankets, Boggy Creek, um, male blessing. Um, what else have I got? Some whips, some foes, a bit of everything. So, and I have to do it today because tomorrow I'm off to the periodontist and I think my mouth will be sore for a couple of days. Anyway, life goes on. Let's get started with some fun. Okay, the Boggy Creek Mail Blessing. I did extend the date, but I didn't get any more entries. I only got one. So my lucky $50 winner for the Mail Blessing is Raylene. Raylene, email me and we'll organise payment into your PayPal account so you can send your Boggy Creek blanket to have either Nancy at She's Got Yarn or Juan the Yarn Addict, whichever one's closest to you cheapest to you i think i worked out the other day for me it would be one anyway guys that is my boggy creek blank mail blessing blanket done thank you for listening to me and Raylene, thank you for participating some people from australia have sent blankets to boggy creek because i was watching the unboxing live probably i don't know wednesday thursday whatever day it was here and there was one from Australia. So it is nice that we do think of our people in the Northern Hemisphere and help out. So what have I got for you now? Well, I think I'll talk about the blankets I've been doing. So my Sober Granny, I've done a bit of work on it, as you can see. I think I was down here somewhere. Yeah, I've taken the Progress Keeper out. That was silly. I was about down here when I showed you last time. So yeah, I've done a few um, rows on it, a bit more probably not quite halfway this is what I take in the car because I'm still doing a lot of running around dropping off and picking up of reeds well I think it's end of October he goes back to the doctor so we have a checkup and blood tests and all that again to see how he's going with his health he's pretty good he's in good spirits he's having fun and living life and that's the main thing so yes that's my I don't normally show whips do I that's my Sober Granny Blanket by Christa at the Secret Yarnery. It's probably my go-to charity blanket when I want to make one in a hurry because the edges stay straight. It's really easy. My second one is a finished object. I finished my V-stitch blanket. Ta -da! I'll try and put some photos at the end. Now, I said I ran out of hummingbird to do the border and I really want to thank those people the subscribers and podcasters in USA and Canada who offered to send me some it seemed it was very kind and generous of you but it seemed like I could come around get around this without having to get you to send me some yarn because I couldn't get that color here and what I did was I've got a white border with a blue edging the white is premier everyday dk that janet lapre sent me she sent me the hummingbird yarn in the colors dk so i did the white and the blue is the bit i had left over from the hummingbird so yes there it is it's beautiful i really like it i did this is the v stitch stash buster with the envelope enclosed border by Ophelia Talks. I've done it before, I really love it. And I've put a photo of the finished object at the end, if I can remember to take one. All I had left of Hummingbird was like, whatever's in here, this little bag, these little bits that couldn't do another round. I think it worked out. There's like less than 15 grams of that left. And the white, everyday DK for the border was a hundred gram ball and there's like 25 grams of that left I do have quite a bit of that because Janet sent me quite a bit of um, premier everyday DK I have other colors 
I may have to do another blanket in it. I love it. I love this, this, this colors DK. This the way it works up. It's beautiful and soft. It is a beautiful blanket. And yes, I'm making blankets because they do use a lot of yarn, and I do want to use up some of the yarn in my yarn stock. So yeah, there it is. Every day, and it's called DK Colors Hummingbird. I don't know what other colors it comes in. Bright colors. I'm into bright colors at the moment. If I ever see it again in bright colors, I might get it. But I do love the Premier and um, Anti Pilling DK. Okay, so that's that. I have to check my notes because I get. I've been having really bad sinus headaches. Um, so. I have been doing Bod Hatterpalooza throughout the year, but spasmodically, whatever suits me. So I did week 36. So week 36, I used the Stylecraft yarn I bought um, that was an Aran weight and I wanted to try out. I've lost the ball then. I do know what it's called, but I can't remember. And um, so it's week was the easy crochet hat so it's like a front post crochet it's really nice but I ended with this gappy seam in the back that you I don't know I've noticed someone else got that too so I, I was going to do a pom-pom but I was finishing this off overseas so I just used the yarn to do my little tassel things and cover that back seam it probably will just go on my market store as a cheapie to sell or I'll cut, recover the cost. It was a hundred gram ball and there is like 20 grams if anything left. It did use a lot of yarn. I do like this. I just wish I didn't get that seamy thing at the back. But it does look nice and that sort of camouflages it. And funnily enough, I do sell beanies with these on especially to young teens rather than pom-poms so that was week 36 week 37 was a witch's hat and I would have loved to have made it I was still overseas and I didn't have any black and I didn't want to go out and buy black and I knew I didn't have any black enough black left in my yarn stock so I gave that one a miss you never know I might go back to it I have made it before years ago for the little girl next door but Week 38, which we've just had, is easy, seamless, linked double crochet hat. I love this. This was really great. It looks a bit funny on the, this head, but he's a funny shape. But look at that. And there is no seam. I used my um, Spotlights USA style super saver whatever they call it which is a lot like red heart and i used a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook this will go probably donated to crochet for cancer because it's perfect no seam good size looks amazing and i really enjoyed doing the link double crochet i've never done it before and as per usual um crystal really explains it well so yeah two hats for Bod had a palooza I remembered to make. September, hooker versus hooker. Freaked me out when the project was a scarecrow. I was like, what am I going to do? So the project was scarecrow. Colours were red, green, brown, yellow and grey. And I had to come up with something that I could do while I was travelling. And I thought, for me, piece of cake, I'll make a tea cosy. Mm-mm. Not so good when you're traveling. Unfortunate, it did fit this teapot. And I did the finishing touches after I got home on the 28th. But there he is. This is my scarecrow tea cozy. Ta-da! He's got some patches on the back and hair. It fits this pot. Um, I have measurements for my teapot. It wasn't meant to fit this one, but it didn't fit the one turned out bigger than the one I planned it for. The yarn I used was yarn I bought 
in the UK when I was in um, Brighton. I went to a Hobie, a Hobie craft store and I bought quite a bit, I think 24, 24 50 gram balls of Knit Craft Everyday DK, 100% acrylic. And I used the red, the yellow, the green, the brown from that. But I doubled it up because DK is like eight ply and I wanted it to be quite sturdy um, for like an Aran weight or a worsted weight. And so I used double the yarn, except on the hair. That's just single. Now, what inspired me to help me make this is y.o.h.crochet Anita's Yeti pattern. I had it on my laptop because it was gifted to me. I used the head from the Yeti pattern. I probably could have made the head a bit bigger. I used the arms from the Yeti pattern. It's even got thumbs. But I did say, you never know, you've got patterns and you want to make something, you can steal bits from them. Um, so yes, his hat was sort of free form. It, it can pop out and stand up like a top hat, but I quite like it all collapsed and crunched. But that is my hooker versus hooker for September. Now I'm not sure they're doing one for October because it sort of got lost in life. Um, but I definitely will do November's. I'll just see if they come up with a quick one, as long as it's not a dishcloth for October, I'll do it. I don't, I'm not a dishcloth person. I just can't seem to make them and they always look really crappy. <laughs> Mine do when I make them. I used a four millimeter crochet hook and double three weight or eight ply yarn for this. I used my clover hook. So yes, that is my scarecrow, scarecrow tea cozy. He's not very practical, but some people buy them just for ornamental purposes. So there you go. Now, my subscriber, thank you. I am well and truly over 2,000 subscribers. And I want to thank all those people that have joined me and helped the channel churning along. It's really great. I never thought I'd hit 2,000. Absolutely blown away. And it... And I thought, well, I'll, I'll wait till it gets a few past 2,000 because YouTube, excuse me, nervous hiccups. Um, YouTube come along when you hit a milestone and colour for you, but it just kept going. We're almost, I think, in 2,040, getting close to 50. So it's really great. And I did say I'd do a 2,000 subscriber giveaway. So it opens today, worldwide my thank you gift to one of my subscribers basically first there'll be two prizes the first one will be a mystery box of things i bought on my travels overseas some australian stuff knitting crochet just depends on what i have on hand and the winner so it opens today and it closes 11:59 p.m the 26th of october eastern standard time australia Remember, I'm eight hours ahead of you, I think, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. Could be nine hours. I always get confused. But make sure you check it out. Because sometime on Sunday, the 27th of October, I will do a draw for the prizes. So first prize will be like a mystery box of things I have bought on my travels from overseas with a few Aussie things. Second prize will be a $25 gift voucher which I'm sure will come in handy before the festive season just to buy someone a gift or spend it on yarn. You can. So it's the usual terms and conditions that will be in the description below. YouTube is not affiliated with this giveaway. It's not sponsored. I purchased everything myself. I'll be paying for everything myself. It's just to thank my subscribers for getting me over the 2000 limit. I just absolutely and thing i'll tell you i shed a tear when i was when i saw it come click over um we'd been out all day looking around and sure enough it clicked over and i said to him you watch youtube will cull some of them so what do you have to do to enter well leave a comment below this video and the comment must be what is your favorite blanket pattern to make
whether it be crochet or knit it, let me know because I'll be looking at those comments and making sure you're a subscriber to the channel before I do the draw. So yes, your comment should contain what's your favorite crochet pattern, go-to pattern to make a blanket or a knitted pattern because I do knit, knit blankets as well. And I have like my go-to for a quick blanket for charity is the Sober Granny because it whips up so quickly. It's just I've been a little slow with this one. And for knitted, I really like the um, Rain and Shine blanket by Stephen West. So yeah, let me know. That's how you enter. So opens today. Remember, you must be over 18 years of age. You must be a subscriber. Terms and conditions will be, be in the description below. YouTube's not affiliated. It closes 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Australia on the 26th of October. And I'll do the draw sometime on the 27th of October. A mystery box and a $25 gift voucher. Two people who enter will be lucky winners. I, I wish I could give everybody one, but I can't. So there you go. I thought that was, you know, a prize for each thousand. That was pretty fair. Anyway, guys, I still have to do heaps of videos on my trip of the the yarn therapy and some of the places in interesting things I saw I also came up with an idea for next year's make along so also let me know if you'd be keen for a make along next year it's kind of quirky but it's okay for an idea anyway take care stay safe stay well and I'll see you next time but make sure you have one crafty day bye for now